Did Bryce Hall just get his power shut off because of a party? We'll tell you what's going on and where Addison Ray is in this whole thing. I'm Kelsey Bannis and you're watching The Daily Report. Happy Friday! I haven't said that in so long. Feels good. Feels good. One week ago, Bryce threw a massive party at his house to celebrate his 21st birthday party. There were a ton of your favorite TikTokers there, all of the Sway Boys, dancers, and no mask or social distancing. But guys, there's a whole pandemic that is happening, and California currently has more cases than any other U.S. state. In fact, L.A. County alone, the county in which they live, has more cases than most states. So many cases that the mayor of Los Angeles warned on August 4th that if the police are called to shut down a large party at your home, you will receive a notice from the city's Department of Water and Power of a shutoff on your property within two days. He clarified that the rule is not meant to focus on small and ordinary gatherings in people's homes, but rather the people determined to break the rules and throw these quote-unquote super spreader events, which could pose as a significant public danger and threat to others. On August 7th, Josh Richards, who is part of the Sway House, was asked how he felt about influencers partying, and he told E! News, quote, I think that we definitely are in a time that's super confusing and people are acting out in a bunch of different ways, but there's definitely a way to do it safely and quarantine safely, and people should do that. Then they proceeded to throw a party the following day on August 8th and last Friday for Bryce's birthday. The event was shut down around 4 a.m. by the police, and the backlash was almost instantaneous. YouTuber Tyler Oakley spoke out against them on Twitter, asking them to do better for their audience, and YouTuber Elijah Daniel said that he called the mayor in an attempt to get their power shut off. And he went off on Twitter. Like, he went off. He followed up the tweet writing, quote, Just a warning for Sway and Hype, I don't give a f about y'all, and I'm sure you'll be told this, but after your power and water gets shut off on Tuesday, if you continue to party, they can and will try to charge you with domestic bioterrorism to make an example out of you. This is some serious stuff. This isn't some fake video for everybody. No, no, no. This is real. Bryce and the Sway Boys responded to this backlash in their own ways. Bryce posted a TikTok of him lip syncing to a Kesha song with the lyrics, quote, I don't give a f and then a couple of days ago, the boys began to brag that they still had water and power, posting TikToks with captions like, quote, the water is feeling extra warm today and the lights are extra bright, hashtag blessed. And tweeting, quote, took the hottest shower this morning. Bryce even posted a TikTok with all of the boys dancing in the caption that read, quote, our lights keep flickering for some reason. But it appears that they celebrated this victory of getting away with a party too soon because on Wednesday, their power was shut off. Bryce was stopped by the Hollywood Fix, which is paparazzi, and when he was asked about like partying and his birthday, he literally just like slammed the door in the guy's face and got into his sprinter like, peace, see ya. I thought that was interesting. This fact was confirmed by the mayor himself when he released a statement that didn't name Bryce exactly, but it was confirmed to be Bryce's house later by reporters. The mayor wrote on his Twitter, quote, Today I authorized the city to disconnect utility service at a house in the Hollywood Hills to stop the large parties held there in flagrant violation of our public health orders. Parties like these can quickly and easily spread the virus and put our communities at risk and elaborated in a statement that, quote, despite several warnings, the house in question, quote, has turned into a nightclub in the hills, hosting large gatherings and flagrant violation of our public health orders. The consequences of these large parties ripple throughout our entire community because the virus can quickly and easily spread. I mean, yeah, so true. <laughs> At first, Bryce liked the tweet from the mayor and tweeted presumably after the shutoff quote, suddenly the turns have tabled. Isn't it tables have turned? Interesting. What? <laughs> oh, how the turn tables. But soon it seems the severity of having no power in the middle of a heat wave started to hit them. And it's hit me. I'm gonna be honest, I have a fan on me right now. I'm trying to be like Beyonce, but it's not working. Yesterday, Bryce tweeted, quote, woke up sweating bullets in this 100 degree weather. No air condition, hashtag dope. But hey, those cold showers they complained about on Instagram Live filmed in their dark house probably felt good, right? It appears that maybe Bryce is understanding the weight of the backlash from the past week because last night he tweeted, quote, with my power recently being shut off, I now see what having no power can have on someone. I decided to donate a portion of my upcoming merch sales to at no Kid Hungry, hoping to do my small part to help those in need in LA during these times. Hashtag Los Angeles. We don't know yet how much of a portion it is, but that is nice of him. So while Bryce works through his feelings and tries to get his power back on, his ex-girlfriend Addison Rae attends a birthday party for friends Taylor Holder and Tony Lopez. Interesting, no? 
Was Bryce there? I don't think he was. Don't worry, it wasn't a house party, but rather an evening of masks at the Boa Steakhouse in Los Angeles. Addison's parents were in attendance as well as Nikita Dragon, Thomas Petru, and more. It's good to see that there are some influencers who are taking this seriously, and it seems like we probably won't be seeing Addison and Bryce together soon, as she appears to be distancing herself from the whole ordeal. Because when she was questioned too by the Hollywood Fix paparazzi, she was like, I'm sorry, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. What do you think's gonna happen? Do you think we're gonna get some clarification from either of them? But now we wanna know what you think. Do you think the Sway Boys will learn from this or will they throw another party? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. And make sure to check us out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Custa Venus and I need 10 more fans on me. It's hot. This heat wave. <laughs> Make me Beyonce. Did I do it? <laughs>